Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And here we're going to carry on. And what are we going to carry on with? Well, I was going to create harvesters and everything here and tie this into the main system. Then it kind of hit me. I have tracks. So why don't I try and make a train system? So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest all of this, have it come down and go this way. Let's make a, a bay here. Um, so one, three, four, five. I wonder if I can make some trains here. Do I have enough ingredients? Where are you? Here we go. Cargo wagon. Oh, I need engine units. So I need to make some engine units. That's okay. Let's make some tracks here. Not sure how much to put. Maybe we'll do about this long. And then... We can turn these around and we can do that. So what I'm doing here is kind of uh, and this thing's in the way. That's okay. And what I'm doing here is I'm basically making a train set. It's just in a computer game. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, let's put this train like this. Okay. <clears throat> what we'll do up here, maybe we'll make a big loop. Oh, that research is done. What's the next research? We want to pick the research that has to do the construction robots. So if I do what like this. Uh, let's pick up the trees. Okay, how about like that? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how this rail stuff works 100%. So I'm just kind of giving it a shot. And I'm just going to see how this functions. Put that like that. Put this. Oh, what's that? Is that? Am I being attacked? Yeah, it looks like down here at the bottom, but my church should be able to engage, so we should be okay. Let's get back to constructing this. Like that. Like that. Like that. And then if I did this, probably like that. I think that's about right, and if we put these pieces like so, it should combine this, and I have a loop now that you can turn around in. So we'll have the station in here, and then this way we can have a loop. I'm not sure if I want double tracked or not. I think we're only going to have one train on this track, so let's reun uh, okay okay so what so like this then I guess there we go maybe it's too convoluted oh well <laughs> train tracks and now with these tracks I want to bring them down as far as we could go have to take these out and let's keep going and these train tracks are going to go all the way down to the bottom there. It's basically the bottom. They're going to go down. They're going to turn. And they're going to come into the base down here at the bottom of the wall. That's kind of my guide that I'm using at the moment. We're going to have to put up radar units. Because I realize that with the radar units, if they're running, they'll show you where the, the creatures are in the maps. So, and I'm out of that stuff so let's run over here I'm gonna run over this way I'm gonna run back to the base here we'll run along the belt so it's faster I'm not sure how long this episode will be might be a little bit longer than the usual half hour but that's okay so this is still operating everything should be good here okay 
Lots of ammo. Oh, and things are being attacked. Shit, this sucks. Gonna have to double check all this stuff. So, down here. Where are we? I think down here somewhere. 25, 25. Yeah, so what's happening is this pollution is extending out. And aliens are attacking because of it. Uh, yeah, that's terrible. So what else are we going to do? Let's do... I don't know. We need to do more... This kind of stuff. So we need to get towards rocket defense. So how do we make rocket defense? What do we need to research? I'm just kind of looking through it to see what which one has rocket defense. Next I have to increase my military which will give us, what will this give us? Poison capsules, slow down capsules, combat shotgun. Range 10. Yeah, let's do this research. We'll need that. And let's go take care of these guys here to the right. So we got three cracking. We got petroleum. We got Lido. Oh, the Lido is being used. So is this stuff. So that's good. Maybe because the solid fuel is being used properly. Slowly. See up here, this fuel is going up into here. Which is fueling everything else. So now we can do this, that. I babysit this because I want it to use this, but then it switches. So it seems to use the first one out of uh, out of here. I guess if I turn these into smart inserters and you know did it where if there's any kind of wood, then it does that first. But yeah, see, even this is running. It's running pretty quickly. That's interesting. I'm just kind of looking here, see what's going on. These are going. These are going really well. Two rows of. So, so if I was it left click on these, yeah. So we're pretty good with performance. We can do was it 10 megawatts? I think each one's one. One megawatt, I believe. Oh yeah, the turrets. Right. So we're being attacked over here on the right hand side. Here you can see it. Nothing's damaged. Oh no, something's damaged right here. But for ammo wise they're doing okay. So we need to take out this base now. So that's a different base I think. Oh, and is there more people? Any aliens on this side? Uh, we got pretty good ammo. Let's let's reload some of these with full ammo here, since we've got it. I think they're gonna need it on this side. So let's. Oh, look at that! Something to repair. Okay, we definitely gotta restore some of those. Oh yeah, I'm glad I'm making this stuff. Let's chop this tree down here. This one as well. Let's repair this. Okay, and let's see here. What? Okay, so good, it saved automatically. Woohoo! <laughs> Not sure why it saved there. Let's check the options here, because they did do an update. So let's see here, and it seems to always toggle the auto save. For, no, 30 minutes. What the hell? I know it hasn't been 30 minutes yet. Not that I'm aware of. I hope not. Uh, that'd be crazy. That'd be too, too quick. <laughs> uh, let's see. 38 here. Let's load this up with ammo. This one is 43. This is 45, which gives us just enough. And I do have laser turrets, so let's. Let's go and check out these aliens here. So how are we going to do that? Let's let's create some more of these electric ones. I need more steel. One, two, three, four, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Need more steel, but let's save the game here. I know it did do an auto save, but let's save it anyways. Okay. So now these poles. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. So that's fine. Let's let's go inside here. Uh, let's see transmission. Let's gonna take this tree out. Okay. Now let's run the transmission line straight across. There. There. We're gonna head towards the alien colony. Let's go this way. This is so much better with these. I'm gonna have to build more of these. Okay, there's a big copper deposit. Oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck. Fuck. Come on, bullets. Woo! <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Somebody's being damaged. That's no good. Let's check this out here. Crap, see, that's what I mean. This game just completely derails you. Uh... Okay, nothing really severe. So down in here will be kind of like the offloading system for the trains. There's this copper deposit we got to tie into as well and bring that further up into the system. Maybe we can kind of do that as well together here. I'm I'm timing from now, so oh, it's nighttime. Doesn't that suck? Okay, now there's some other options I want to go through here in the graphics. Where is it? Lights render quality. Wait for V-Sync. I don't know if I even need that. Uh, I don't know if I have to play with any of these settings. multi sapping quality. Needs restart. Multi-sampling. That needs restart. I'm not going to worry about that. So let's get back to this and carry on. Okay. Okay, so this is where we use the smaller guys. Okay, and then we can basically start with the turrets and carry on closer and closer to the base. Okay, and then we grab another set, just like this, uh, let's see here, okay, and we just do another set, just like this, and we creep in on them, uh, let's see here, what do we got here, okay. So now I can go back to these ones here and pick them up and zoom in a bit more. So how's everybody been doing? Hopefully you're enjoying this whole series. Uh, regardless if you understand what's going on or not. And we're getting another attack for some reason. I don't know if it's for this one or... Crap, I'm, I'm going to... I need uh, a radar system. Oh, that research is done. Good, good, good. Military 4 needs purple, which has the better sh shotgun shells. Laser turret shooting speed. I want to do some of these other ones. So that's energy distribution. This still uses the green, so let's just stick with those for now. Because I want to research everything in the game. It's part of a way to, ah, here we go, here we go, guys. Let's repair. 
Repair. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's create some more of those packs. How many do we want to make here? Ooh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Die. Oh, fix, fix, fix. Okay, we need to pick this up here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, I know I'm doing great. I know what's challenging is this. Oh, ouch. Okay. It's up here, something's almost busted. Okay, that's this one. Okay, let's pick up these these guys. Okay, I'm just zooming out to see. So there's one big worm here. Okay. Not a problem. And then we just do Okay, too far out. We need to repair. Repair. Okay, need to pick this up. So I'm just letting the lasers do all the work, pretty much. Because as you can see, they do the trick. And there's no point in, in, de in dealing with anything really here. How far can I throw? See, it doesn't go far enough. I can put another, I think I can put another set right here, and I can just be quick about this, just like that, and because the range of the lasers is further, they will take care of everything quite effectively. And I think part of the key too though, like, you know, some people would think this is cheating, but no, it's not, because you need to build whether it's the power poles or whether it's anything else so for example these power po electric poles use steel plates and copper plates same with the big ones so I don't know I feel if I have to use this m method you have to create everything right from the laser turrets so t to what requirements that they have Whew. there we go I think that takes care of them. Let's pick this stuff up here. Okay. And there we go. We got more orbs. 104 orbs. And I think that's taken care of. So I don't think there should be any more challenges. So let's repair these guys. Oh, wrong button. It's the cute. And let's pick this stuff up. And there we go. There's another colony down. Now I'm going to leave these power poles here because I might use them. Uh, we have the coal here. So if we have any more coal, there's some copper here. Come on, don't mind. Okay. Let's go map. I can't see them coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put radar units in all four corners just to have a constant scan. And I want to use the solar panels for those so with that in mind let's run back this way and it looks like there's more oil here if we need it but I think we got enough oil I'll tie more oil if, if we have to so we have this copper deposit down here I'm so I'm kind of I'm kind of gonna sidetrack so we're gonna clear out the trees here and we're gonna actually tie this copper into the existing copper system because I want to start clearing this out so that way it's not in the way here. Okay. So let's do that. So let's line up some... Yeah, there's this one odd one here. So let's just do it like this. Yeah, let's just do it like that. And So what this will do is this will actually be able to harvest everything completely. Oh, that's only one unit. Okay, I think I just need to mimic these. And so with this pattern, we should be able to get absolutely everything. So it's like this, like that, like that, like that, and like that. 
And I need more of these guys. So where is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's being damaged. That's being damaged. That's what the, the orange means. So let's go see what's happening here. Yeah, looks like the turret's damaged. How's the ammo? They're actually chewing through the ammo really good. And the only problem with these is I have no idea where they're coming in from. They're coming like from straight across. Because I would have to watch for them or put some radar units up. But yeah, see, again. How are the trees yet? No, again it's doing it. I wonder why. And that's frustrating. Let's put those there. Let's put it just like that. Okay. So anyways, we were making some of these guys. So we're going to tie in the copper here. So let's go back to this deposit and let's finish this off. So I want to put this like these. And basically with this pattern, this should allow us to get it all. Now, whether or not to tie it in now is another story because that's going to use up power. It's going to use up a lot of power. And I want to set up kind of like efficiency. Uh, efficiency things. So in here there's slots. You can put efficiency modules, which then cause it to use less power, which in turn causes it to use less pollution. And so with the less pollution in mind, we got sulfuric acid, which is almost full, then this will back up. We got the chemical plant, to make explosives, and then here we have, yes, here we have these circuits being created. And it looks like more of these are coming through. We got steel coming through. Let's snag a hundred. It's kind of like uh, I steal it off the line directly, just that way we have access to it, right? So I think. Where, is this steel operating full bore? No, see, it, there's not enough steel being backed up. But that's because this stuff here is working as fast as it can. And I want to use a solid fuel, so reality of the fact is is I either have to get rid of the steel furnaces and we're being attacked down there crap I have to either get rid of the steel furnaces or I have to do something else because circuits up here are still being done so all this is still operating we still have a backlog of these guys um, but let's put all these in here I know we use them for other things so modules, modules. I want to make modules so we can lower, so these ones, these efficiency modules, which need advanced circuits and electronic circuits. So we have those here on both sides. So maybe, maybe we can do it up here. So for example, so what do I need? I need two items, so I only need these guys. If I do that, and then say we use longhand inserter, so I can do probably longhand inserter, and then a small inserter, and then if I pick efficiency modules, <clears throat> then we add some power to this, like so. Let's put a flashlight, a light out here, so we can see if we see any fish nearby. Let's harvest, okay? Because those will definitely help with combat. And this did not work, so let's put this right here. Okay, and now let's be making efficiency modules. Now, what level of? Oh, and I need to do new research. Completely forgot. So let's do efficiency modules level two these are so much better and it's gonna start making those maybe I'll just have a build up in here and we'll take them as they go and we'll let it do its thing so what I'm gonna to do to here is I'm gonna actually grab a stack of those so that way I always have a full stack 
Gonna check on the armor here, which has the steel here, which, so it's pretty healthy. It looks like we need to grab a bunch of this stuff. It's gonna grow rabbit all because we're um, then gonna run around here. And we're gonna check our turrets. While wow, this is doing, it's well, it's doing efficiency modules, so we'll have to let it. I'll show you what these do, anyways, and then you'll understand. So it's made two so far, so let's grab them. Now let's go run on a little trip here. So I know that there's these copper, these copper things are being you constantly used, right? So for example, if I can put in two modules, and now if you look, it's minus 60%. So instead of 90 kilowatts, it uses 36 kilowatts, which is considerably less. And let's check these out here. These are the turrets. It's 92, so let's refill these to 100 again. That's such a pain. I wonder if I can no, right click does that. How about if I shift or click uh, control left click? Looks like it puts 100 in there. How about control left click? So control left click will top it up, it looks like. Good. Okay. So I can just do this. Let's keep going. Oh, only 50? Why is that? Or is it half the stack? Huh. Let's grab a full stack and control left click. Interesting. Okay, let's just keep, let's fill these all up. It doesn't really matter. These don't need power, right? So I think for all intents and purposes, these should be superior and I need more ammo. Look at that. So I grabbed all that ammo and what did it do? Nothing. So let's do efficiency module three, which will start using the alien science packs. And let's do it anyways, because you need alien artifacts to create those and processing units. So we'll do that research, but I think the highest will go is efficiency two at the moment. So let's create another assembler for efficiency two. Just looking if I have any wood. Run back to the base here. So production's operating a full swing. So is research. Let's just run up here quickly. Yeah, so you see all the science packs are being used and a tiny backlog on the green, but in the most part it's there isn't, so it's good. There's a backlog on the red, which is fine. Turrets are being engaged again. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to reestablish the scanners too. So let's see how much ammo we got built. Not much. How about here, only four modules, hey, so that's not gonna work. So we need to do, well, since we're gonna do efficiency module two, we can do this. Maybe, actually, let's do it like this, I think. But I need process units. Crap. Which is down here. But it's processing very slowly. So what is it waiting for? It's waiting for the circuits. So that's the holdup. And to make circuits, we need copper wire, wire, and steel plates. Copper wire and steel plates. So I guess we couldn't in inject. circuits onto this belt to help this produce more. The real thing to do would be to create another circuit thing here to be able to create more circuits. Yeah and then here I kind of did this silly thing so I was kind of practicing with an idea with uh, creating these wires and then feeding it to where you need it but it doesn't work too well. Not 100% anyways. 
And I'm just thinking here. We got steel production going full swing. It looks like it already collected its hundred. But I do want to make efficiency two, and that's these processing units. Well, let's grab these. Let's let, let's throw these into into here. So we'll do this, and we'll make efficiency module two. And then we need the red. So then the red will use. Maybe we'll do it like this. And then maybe we can do something like, maybe like this. And then put steel chest here. <clears throat> Let's do half a stack, throw that in there. And what we'll do is we'll take some processing units up here to make some more modules. So let's see, so they need circuits. And we're taking circuits from here for the research. And these two are fueling the whole system. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, see, it's snagging them all. So... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work too well. Because now it's filling up again, and the research is going to suffer. Because we need to make these inserters for the blue packs. And if we don't get enough blue packs, then we won't be able to do it. So we need another smart inserter, which means we need circuits, which means we need more copper okay so so let's do this let's we'll tie it in somehow so, so circuits need copper there's, there's even circuits up here that we're producing yeah well I don't know. I think this is a good place to cut it. Basically, what I'm going to do is I might have to rework this entire area here. I have to tear it all down, but I need the production of this ammo for the defense mechanisms. And I keep getting attacked from over there. So maybe I'll try and discover why I'm being attacked and go from there. But yeah, but thank everybody for watching. I appreciate you, you taking the time out of your busy schedules to watch all of this stuff and I hope it's entertaining hope you're learning stuff I know I keep learning stuff and I'm kind of kind of at a roadblock kinda of not I have a good idea what we're doing but on the same boat I'm not too sure <laughs> so yeah so thank you everybody for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I think I said that already but oh well whatever I'm not Mr. Professional. I'm just another YouTuber out there having a good time playing games and recording it. So yeah. So thank you everybody. And you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.